Hi and welcome to Elite Mind Academy. I'm Paweł Potasiński and you're in the third episode of AI in Power BA series. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate cognitive services, a Microsoft service for bringing some uh, AI capabilities to Power BI in Power BI Premium option. Enjoy! So here I am in my Power BI Premium uh, workspace and I'm going to create a an object called data flow. A data flow is a kind of pipeline of transformations. So it's it's very similar to what you do in Power BI, Power BI Desktop with Power Query. I'm going to add new entity. The an entity is a is a, a table actually, which presents you with some some part of the data set. And I'm going to connect to Azure SQL database where I store my data. I will provide a server name and a database name. And also I will I will put some credentials to make sure that I'm able to connect to the server. So yeah, Azure SQL database is my data source. After clicking next, I can see the tables that are available for me in this database. So I will choose the photo table where my photo URLs and language description, language for description of the photos is uh, are stored. So uh, I have a bunch of photos stored within my uh, blob storage and here I have URLs to all of those photos and I'm, I, I choose English language for Tag, tag description. I'm, go, I'm, click, I'm clicking transform data and I'm ready to uh, add some transformations. Normally I would add some uh, typical transformations like adding columns and uh, some, some, some like that. But here I will add AI insights based transformations. So there is a, there is a button at the top of the screen and after clicking that I'm able to choose from the available functions brought to me by cognitive services as of now you can see there are four available functions so i can enrich my data by adding adding tags to images which i'm going to do in a moment but uh, but also i can extract key phrases from the text i can detect language and i can add uh, score sentiment to my text and here over the cognitive services uh, folder Sometimes you, you may see some functions added from your custom uh, machine learning models. So there is a way to add your own AI insights. But that, at that time, I'm going to choose tag images function. I'm going to provide photo path and length columns as my URL to photo and language for description. And I'm going to choose apply. And after, after doing this, my data set is enriched, uh, well, after clicking continue, actually. Uh, my data set is enriched with a column. Actually, it's a, it's a column presenting a record. So it's a bunch of columns. Um, I don't need all of those columns, of course. Uh, so yeah, here is a record. And uh, which means that uh, I, will, I would not leave, the, leave it like that. I will expand this column uh, and I will choose just the columns that I need for this transformation. And from two available columns, image tags and image tag JSON, I will leave just image tags, which will present me with a nice way to read the image tags as a comma separated, va comma separated values. So in a second, I will have a column containing image tags. So cognitive services underneath is doing um, the, photo, the, anal the analysis of my photos and presents me with uh, the image tags for each of the photos. And all I have to do uh, right now is just save and close this data flow, actually this entity, um, give it a name, so I'm going to I'm going to name it um, SQL SAT 
those those photos come are coming from SQL Saturday. So SQL Sat photos tagged. I'm going to save and refresh this data set. So now after creating a data flow, all I have to do is to consume the enriched data within Power BI Desktop. So here I am in Power BI Desktop. I create, I've already created some layout for my report, but I don't have any fields and I, I'm, I don't have any data set actually. So I'm going to create, click uh, Home, Get Data, and there is my option to connect to the Power BI data flows. So I'll choose that. And if I'm logged to Power BI service, I'm able to connect to my data flows. In my Power BI Premium demo workspace, I have two data flows, and one of them is the one that I created just a bit ago. SQL Sat Photos Tagged. It contains a single entity called Photo. And this, this entity actually stores my enriched data, so you can see image tags. Uh, image tax column produced by the cognitive services. I'm going to transform the data because uh, this data set do not fulfill my requirements. It stores all the image tags in, a, in one row for each photo and that's not the, uh, the form which is, uh, which is uh, the best for my reports reporting. So I'm going to do um, a bit of transformation for, for this. So um, I'm clicking on image tags and all I have to do is to split all those tags uh, into separate values. So first of all, I'm going to split columns by delimiter. And I have to uh, split on each occurrence of the delimiter just as the default states, but I'm going to choose another delimiter, not space. It's going to be custom and it's going to be a comma and a space because that's what actually divides my image tags. Now, I, after clicking OK, I'm getting 11 columns. And why 11? Because uh, because uh, that was the maximum number, the maximum amount of tags for a single photo. Now, this this uh, this data set is also not ready to consume uh, by my uh, Power BI reporting. So I'm going to transform it further. Now, I'm going to select all of the columns that do not represent image tags. And I'm going to perform some uh, pretty pretty common transformation on pivot columns and pivot other columns. So what this transformation actually will do for me, it will leave the photo ID, photo path and length columns untouched, uh, but it will unpivot all of the other columns into two columns, attribute and value. So yeah, I have my tags stored within a single column called value and the attribute column is not not required anymore so i will just delete it so now uh, now you can see that for for a single photo i have a bunch of rows in the case of photo number 1 i have four tags person man indoor glasses describing my photo so this data set is actually ready to use so i will click close and apply this will load my data set into Power BI desktop model. So it's an import mode actually, and I will have my data set ready to use. Now, before I'm going to step any further, I have to perform some, uh, some um, modeling. I'm going to click on my photo path, uh, which, which represents the URL to my image. And for this column, I will choose in the modeling tag, the data category called image URL. This is pretty much important because otherwise uh, my image URL will be uh, recognized as a text and it will not present me with the actual photo actually. So after doing that, I'm ready to use my uh, to use my my uh, visuals. Now, in uh, the in the visualizations pane, you may notice that uh, besides the default visuals which are now which now can be divided uh, divided from the uh, custom visuals I have three custom visuals so those are three custom visuals I have one is the uh, text filter which will be for me useful in terms of searching for a particular tax the other one is image grid which will uh, present which will present my actual photos on the screen 
and the other one is word cloud which will show the the keywords uh, the tags that were attached to each to each photo now uh, i can add the, as a first one i will add image grid just to show you the images on the screen so um, this visual takes actually um, several several uh, attributes but I'm going to use just one the photo path and my and my photos magically appear on the screen I will play with formatting <clears throat> I will disable title and the background as well and I will set the, in the settings that this uh, this visual will render as the grid so now it's a table of images and I can see the images on the screen as, as expected. I can scroll down, I can see there are a bunch of my photos. So I have photos. Now I'm going to show you the tags attached to, to, the, to this to this uh, photos. So I'm going to uh, put work cloud visual on the screen. I'm going to align it a bit to the layout. And yeah, almost done. Okay, yeah. So I have my box of word clouds, and the word clouds also has some um, different um, different attributes. It has category, values, and include excludes. I will add just those two category and the values, uh, so it will show the value, uh, the keyword, the, the tag that that was attached to uh, to each of the photos, and you can see those those keywords appear on the screen. And I will add photo ID to values, making sure that this is uh, calculated by count distinct aggregation function. So I'm just calculating the the occurrences of each of the tags to make sure that the the bigger uh, the bigger tag here in the cloud world represents the most uh, the most often occurred uh, tag. Now I'm going to play with formatting as well because uh, I don't want this uh, text to be rotated and I don't want to show the background and I want to this uh, this uh, tags to be uh, colored in within with a single color. And now I can already play with the report so I can click on the photo I can see uh, which tags were attached to this uh, to this photo. I can do the vice versa so I can uh, select tag for example, computer, and I will see that, yeah, that actually the classification of this image was quite quite good, so the computer is there. And um, you, you can see that there is, a, there is a way to play with this report already, but I'm going to add uh, some, uh, some additional stuff. Uh, for example, uh, I will make some space here, and I will add uh, a card, and... Uh, and I will add some measure that will show up on this card. This will be selected photos, which will be a kind of, uh, you know, annotation, number of photos selected and the number of actually uh, well, selected photos on the screen. So, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to put this measure on my visual and play, play with formatting a bit. Um, category label is not required data label should be a bit smaller let's say 20 points so now I uh, now I can see how many how many photos were selected and if I click on one of the tags the number changes so yeah that's how my how my uh, visual works and I will also add um, the uh, text filter to my oh, sorry uh, for f I will add the text filter to my report to make sure that I'm able to search for my uh, for my tags uh, so I will add the value which stores the tag as my as my uh, as my field to search from and I will play with formatting as well title and background are not required and now I can for example search for the tag uh, so I know that uh, among those photos taken at SQL Saturday event there are some photos of uh, of the city Krakow so I will just put the city in my search, and I can see some of the uh, photos from taken taken at SQL Saturday event uh, outside in the city. 
and yeah i i, I already have a very functional report uh, so you can you can actually figure out your own scenarios for using cognitive services it's not just about tagging images it's it's even more about uh, playing with text so you have uh, key phrases uh, you have uh, sentiment analysis uh, you can you can detect language so uh, i i think there are a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, business scenarios to figure out as you can see, you can easily integrate cognitive services with Power BI Premium option to enrich your datasets and present some predictive information within your reports. I hope you will find some scenarios for this combination. Um, please watch our, our series AI in Power BI, subscribe our channel and thank you for those who already subscribed our channel. We reached 100 uh, subscribers last month. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.